Fathers, dads, buds, and lads, welcome back to the channel. I'm Trent, and uh, yeah, this is this is FC. This is fatherhood confessions. Yeah, that's that's definitely me. And I'm back with another video. If this is your first time here on the channel, why don't you go ahead and like, subscribe, ring the bell. I would love to have you as the next member of the FC family. So go ahead and do that now before we even get started. So why are farts such an attraction? Why does it get so much attention? Farts are unique. I mean, they all sound differently, don't they? From silent to squeaky to, you know, like a growling bear. Maybe that's a, I'm not sure if, if that's a good example. But before we go ahead and get into the, today's fart quotes by fatherhood, how quotes with the word fart in it change the game. What do we name? Give some farts names, shall we? Let's start with one. How about the butt crack buzzer beater? No, I mean, sometimes our farts sound like the buzzer beater in basketball, right? How about the wonderful sound of a, a wild whoopee cushion whacker? You know what a whoopee cushion sounds like, but it's the real thing coming from the real area. So yeah, the whoopee cushion whacker. That's a cool name. How about this one? How about the log whisper instead of the dog whisper? Oh, yeah, that's not funny. Then you got one of my favorites, the uh, the butt butt cheek clapper. I mean, sometimes farts sound like an applause, like you did something special and you earned it by I don't know an applause. Congratulations. Well done. Then probably my favorite is the invisible methane monster growl. That's sometimes how our farts sound, right? Anyways, we're past that. You can give your own fart a name. I don't know. Something unique. Think about it. But we're going to dive into um, some well-known quotes that if we took a specific word out of there and replaced it with fart, it completely changed the game. This is not a dream. So, the first fart quote by fatherhood is this one. Oh, yeah, and I'm reading from my trusty journal. I, I wrote these down, so at, at least you can say I'm prepared. Yeah, I actually thought about this. So. so, number one, when you reach the end of your rope, tie a fart in it and hang on. Number two, always remember that you are absolutely unique, just like everyone else's farts. Yeah. That's inspirational, motivational. That'll keep you grounded. Number three, don't judge each day by the harvest that you reap, but by the farts that you plant. Yeah, that's inspirational. Man, there's tons of motivation behind that one. Yeah, wow, that's a difference maker. On to number four, here we go. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their farts. Are you doubting your future? Maybe you need to fart a little bit more. Just saying. Number five. The best and most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or even touched. They must be felt with a fart. What? Very sentimental. It's pretty self-explanatory. I'm getting taught a lot here today. Wow. On to number six. Do not go where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a fart. Wow. These are good. All right, we got three left. Number seven. You have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction that you decide to fart. It's true. I mean, for the most part, if you fart, I mean, you're gonna go in the opposite direction unless you really like smelling your own farts, but let your farts guide you. What else do I have to say about this one? Two left, here's number eight. 
in the end, it's not the farts in your life that count. It's the life in your farts. Don't count the farts that are in your life, people. I mean, that's profound, profound wisdom. You always count the life that's left in your farts. I mean, how, I, I guess it begs the question, how much life is left in your flatulent methane collection? I'm not sure if that's a good way to put it. Number nine. This is on is a good one. Life. Life is what happens when you're busy making more farts. Man, think about how busy you'd have to be to come up with different flavors of farts. Man, that... I don't know. That's that's some intense lab scientific investigation there. Wow. Put on the science jacket. Let's get started. <laughs> let's get... Okay, let's keep... And finally, guys, round it off with number 10. Here we go. Do not let making a living prevent you from making a fart. Yeah, it's good. It's good, uh, it's good life advice right there. I, I mean, if, if you're so focused, if you're so focused at making a living, you're so focused on your profession and climbing the corporate ladder and you forget about your fart life, you failed. You failed miserably. Don't fail your farts. You'll need them in the future. Collect them. Do what's good for yourself and the world. Farts matter. So, this question I need to ask before I tie a ribbon around this video. What are you going to do with your farts? How are you going to make them farts to live by? I'm just saying. One of dad's a dad's favorite company or favorite friend is farts. We love them. We take advantage of them. And we certainly brag about them. We do. All right, guys. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Again, uh, if you don't follow me on these platforms over here, go ahead and do so. Would love to have you follow me uh, on my journey as a dad. Get some dad tips, and some funny stuff going, and, and yeah, and, and communicate with each other. That'd be really cool. And of course, down here, right across the bottom of the screen, hey, like, subscribe, ring that bell, share the video, comment. Hey, other people out there just very well may be um, waiting for you to send an invite. Hey, join the FC crew. You'll never regret it. <laughs> unless you feel otherwise all right that's enough for me like i always say stay focused stay safe i'll catch you on the flippity see ya <laughs>